If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. Okay guys, so different kind of video today. I, I saw that you guys really enjoyed some of the best plays I've used in Foot Champions. Now to talk about some of the worst ones I've used and maybe some people might wanna stay away from them because some of them are actually expensive and they're kinda useless or for me, they're useless in my opinion. So it might help you guys out to kind of be wary when you're purchasing some of these plays because they kind of look good sometimes, but when you put them in foot champions, they're really vulnerable and weak for their price as well. Some of them are kind of useless and you could get cheaper players that perform just way better. So make sure you check out G2A, their link will be in the description if you're looking to buy PSN cards, Microsoft points or cheap PC games. Now what I would like from you guys in the comment section below is to tell me some of the more disappointing plays you've used in your foot champion run. Alright, so the first player we're looking at is Kadira. I put a shadow card on him just to make him a bit more like faster. He's just too slow sometimes, clunky in midfield as well, even though his defensive stats are very nice and he does um, help me out sometimes on counter attacks because he's there midfield and kind of just shoves off any player he wants but catching up to players can be a problem and another thing is the biggest problem for Kadira is he just cannot pass the ball properly I mean if you have really good agile midfielders and really good dribblers and they're just get, getting around the other uh, the opponent's midfield Kadira is just so bad he gets dispossessed really easily um, you could call him a holding midfielder but because of how much he gets dispossessed you can't really call him that anymore and this is a problem with a couple of other midfielders that kind of uh, have similar stats and similar heights with Kadira. So if you are a player that likes to play possession, for instance, and you pass it to your midfielder, the midfielder dribbles around the player, passes it back to Kadira. Kadira loses the ball because his first touch is shit, and also because it takes so long for him to control the ball and then pass it, you'll be dispossessed by then. So um, Kadira, another problem for me was his stamina. By the second half, he is completely useless, making so many mistakes, and by that time, you have to sub him off. Alright, so Fellaini is another disappointing player I have used in the weekend league because same sort of thing with Kadira. He just cannot control the ball and if you like to pass and play really quickly, you will not be able to do that with Fellaini. By the time he controls the ball, gets dispossessed and even this is when he's on full stamina. Some people might say, oh, I've tried Fellaini and he was really good, but did you try him in the weekend league? It doesn't matter where you tried him. Oh, divisions, they're nowhere near as hard as the weekend league. The weekend league, you're playing against some of the best players that ever played in FIFA. So, um, so these sort of players, I don't see them suit in the weekend league. I've tried Kadira, look at this. I've tried Kadira for 224 matches and I just know he's not good enough in the weekend league, honestly. Like you would need a bigger, not a bigger player, but a more agile sort of midfielder that is strong enough Conte would suit that position, but he is just too uh, small. So you would need to kind of find someone that is that has good height. Like for me, for instance, I actually prefer Parolo to Kadira, even though Parolo isn't as strong, but he's agile, he's quite fast, and he has really nice defensive stats as well. So just Kadira is a waste. And like I said, Fellaini, it, he shares the same sort of stats with Kadira. And there you go. All right, so this may come to you guys as a surprise, but Sergio Aguero just isn't good enough. Honestly, like you're paying so much coins for a striker that isn't the best in the weekend league. I mean, I've, I've tried storage and he's better than Aguero in this game. But the problem is I have Diabala on one side and I used Aguero for this uh, foot champions run. Um, on the other side. So Aguero, Diabala, and Del Piero as a center attacking mids. Some of the best players up front, right? Diabala doing everything, and I felt like I was using one striker. I used Aguero more to assist rather than anything. Now, Aguero does have decent stats. Let me see. Uh, we did definitely play 40 games with him. So 40 games, every single one in foot champions. He's only scored 18 goals and 20 assists. Now, some people say that's good enough, but it's not. For how much you're paying for him 356k that is not good enough for what you're getting back so aguero very disappointing player i thought he would be amazing but turns out for an 89 rated player 
he was just okay. And you can't deal with okay players in the weekend league. You need better players. So I was really disappointed with Aguero. Um, let me know if you kind of share the same feeling. I had Diabola and he was he kind of seemed like he was doing all the work. And sometimes I would see Aguero open and kind of ignore using him because um, he doesn't make runs. Like Diabola was making all the runs and I would try and set him up with Aguero. But Aguero just kind of stood still. And I don't get that because he has high and medium work rates. So, just a disappointing player overall. So, Ben Aventura, I did try him out for 40 games. Well, not actually 40. Let me see how much I actually tried him out for. 16 games. So, 16 games I did try him out for and he scored one goal and four assists as a midfielder. Right, central midfielder. So, the problem with him is I used him and uh, he cost quite a bit, by the way. He has He's like 68k, which is a lot for a midfielder that... Um, I don't know, he, like the, in the Serie A there's so many midfielders you could choose from that are a lot cheaper so there's a lot of competition <laughs> to see who's the best midfielder. The problem with him is he is not agile enough in midfield. I want to turn with him to pass it quickly, he's not fast enough to turn. I want to try and pass it off quickly, he's not fast enough to pass. I don't know what was wrong with him, he seemed very clunky in midfield, he's very inconsistent and with the positions he gets in, it was bad. I don't know, what was his work rate? High, medium, <laughs> didn't feel like that. And he also has three star, three star. So if you don't like your midfielders to have that, disappointing. And again, if your midfielders feel stiff, especially the ones on the wings or your left central mid or right central mid, then it's a problem because you try and set up your center attack and mid, your strikers, sometimes with your midfielders. And if they can't kind of assist you and pass the ball quicker, then they're kind of useless. Bonaventura was so disappointing, I actually replaced him with Parolo that cost like 1k. Honestly, Parolo was way better than uh, Bonaventura and he cost 1k. And if you look at Parolo's stats, like I said, he looks incredible. Make sure you do not use this guy. He's He might be good in different modes, but in the weekend league, he's just too weak and just... People could just uh, take advantage of him, gets dispossessed easily as well. Did not like him at all. All right, guys, so here is another one, an SBC that is one of the more expensive ones. 87 rated, Lacazette, and he's disappointing. <laughs> now, people might be like, how is he disappointing? He looks incredible. He, his card looks so good. I use this guy as a super sub with um, storage. So when my Aguero Diabala got tired, I would bring down uh, bring down Lacazette and Storage, and Storage would do all the work. Lacazette, he didn't seem to make insane runs, you know? Like, he would stand still and wait for the board, and then you would have to do so much work to get him through onto goal. But with Storage, this guy is making insane runs, and you don't have to basically discard most of your, your club to get this Lacazette. It doesn't cost you that much to buy a storage that's like 50k and I still think storage is one of the best BPL strikers you could use in the weekend league but Lacazette used him as a superstar for 14 games now and he hasn't done much like four games uh, sorry 14 games and he only scored four goals as a super sub while Diabola has been an insane super sub from previous foot champion weekend leagues so Lacazette, another disappointing player. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me. If you've used him, let me know what you think of him. All right, so from previous foot champion games, I have used Marquisio, and I have to say he is so disappointing. Look at those stats. For a player with those sort of stats, you would expect an incredible midfielder. But for me, he's like, I'm playing with 10 players all the time. He's always disappearing. I don't know where he is most of the time. And he, when he shoots, never really scores. I had him for around 120 games I played with him in Foot Champions. And I don't even remember anything memorable from Marquisio being done or anything that I think he was effective in the weekend league or anything like that. Replace with Nainggolan. Nainggolan is actually better than Marquisio, but not too much. But he wasn't as disappointing as this guy. So when you look at his stats, you would say like this guy is basically the complete midfielder. But when you play with him, I don't know, he's just not as good as his stats show and a very big waste of money as well because this guy is not, he's not cheap. So let's see how much he's going for now. Obviously he's gone down, 
but let's see, uh, he's 43k, and for that, I'd rather use a lot cheaper Italian midfielders. There are so many better players than Marquezio to use in midfield. Like I said, a lot of competition in the Serie A for midfielders, and there's so much variety you could choose from. Okay, final player that I thought was very disappointing, and I concede so many stupid goals because of Buffon. I don't know what it is, but some high-rate players in this game just don't react properly. Like, you would get, say, for instance, Handanovic, way better than Buffon in my opinion, and then you could try Perrin, who is way better than Buffon in my opinion as well. There is a lot of players that you could get from different leagues that are actually better than the higher-rated uh goalkeepers basically so let's take for instance De Gea De Gea could be good in certain situations but I played against him so many times and he seems to be very weak to uh, finesse shots from outside the penalty area while Butland makes insane saves I come up against Lloris a couple of times he's way better than De Gea and I think uh, what's his name Courtois way better than De Gea in my opinion as well but uh, like I said in different leagues sometimes the highest rated goalkeeper isn't the best like take for instance Buffon in the Serie A I think he's one of the worst goalkeepers I've tried out this year anyway that is some of the most disappointing players I have used in this foot champions weekend league this is the only time I use plays basically I don't play offline games I don't play divisions I don't play single matches all I've been doing is playing the weekend league and that is it so any questions in the comment section below about some of these disappointing plays let me know your disappointing plays in the comment section below that you've tried out in the weekend league and uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and hopefully you have a very nice day